couples who've been sent on active service together. In the American forces, they number 50,000. A similar number of single parents have also been called into action. The ABC's Rebecca Chase looks at what this means to the families they leave behind. War has always been hard on families. This war may be even harder. I wish my mom was come back and just hope that she comes back and stuff. Never before have so many single parents been deployed. My daughter is the only thing that I have, and she's all, she's all that I got and I'm all that she has. Okay. Never before have so many mothers gone off to war, leaving so many fathers behind. It's numbing. Um, you know, is it, a, is it a dream or is it a nightmare? When am I going to wake up? Never before have so many military couples with children been sent to battle zones at the same time. We love and miss you. We got your pictures today and you're really beautiful. Martin and Wendy Keith are both in the Air Force, both in the Gulf. While they are gone, their eight-month-old daughter Ashley is being cared for by Martin's parents. You know that the military needs the people, but you know a child needs her mother or her father one. And God forbid if anything were to happen to both of them, she'd never know them. Well, I joined the Army to become a professional soldier. I just, I've loved every minute of it. When Sergeant Lori Moore and her husband, both in the Army, were put on alert, the couple sent their three children to live with Lori's sister. That was all part of their prearranged family care plan, something the military requires of all parents on active duty. We put it together and thought out everything, and the kids were provided for physically. It wasn't until after they left that I realized that emotionally they were being devastated. Moore decided she had to put her children first. She asked for a discharge. The Army has been my life, so I had to give, I had to sacrifice that love for my kids. To date, few women have chosen this path, but Moore's anguish is not isolated, nor is it limited to women. The majority of single parents in the military, in fact, are men. Military policy does not fully reflect these new strains on families. House Armed Services Committee member Pat Schroeder. Uh, we have a military where if you bring up family issues, people think you've got lace on your shorts. It's just that simple. The military attitude has always been, if we wanted these people to have families, we'd have requisitioned to one. The military says its family policy needs no review. Uh, if you get through talking to your recruiter and understanding what's going to happen to you as you become part of the military, and you don't understand that the bottom line is defense of your country, then you weren't paying attention. The private debate of tens of thousands of families is now becoming public. A bill has just been introduced in Congress that would prohibit both parents from being sent to a war zone. A first attempt to strike a better balance between the needs of the national defense and those of the family.